Welcome back to Breakfast Television. Joining me in the kitchen right now is uh, Steve Orr and his mom, Sylvia Orr, and from Stars, Dwayne Kugelstad. Thanks very much for coming in today. We are here to talk about CPR Month. That's what this is. But uh, before we get to that, perhaps, uh, Steve, you can tell us how you got involved in this. Okay, well, basically, just as a credit in phys ed, uh, they teach you everything in AC the ACT uh, program has to offer. And uh, even though I didn't use CPR, I used... Uh, different techniques that they told me and when my mom had a seizure in the year of uh, 2002 I believe so five years ago now and uh, basically everything in that course helped me react a lot more calmly I was able to make better decisions on what to do and what not to do and uh, basically it helped save my mom's life. Tell us what happened Sylvia. Um, I'd been having uh, headaches for a few days before that and uh, Four o'clock in the morning on Friday morning, apparently I went into seizures and uh, Steve awoke hearing a noise, came in and like I say, he saved my life. Uh, doctors had told us if I'd been in seizure half an hour or hour longer, I would have not made it. So uh, yeah, I guess he's my hero. Right. Well, now you knew your son was taking this course, obviously. Yeah. You probably never but, thought that it would be this uh, helpful, especially in your lives. Absolutely not. And I'm so thankful that he was able to react the way he did. Um, and obviously the course is a definite asset in every high school because kids just never know when they're going to need it for themselves, um, parents, loved ones, family. Right. It's definitely a very positive thing for them. Right. Now, Dwayne Stars is involved in this as well. Yeah, uh, the <clears throat> Advanced Coronary Treatment Foundation, which basically uh, is an organization that uh, created uh, this sort of program. They had a pilot program in Edmonton uh, for CPR to be taught in high schools. Uh, they sort of facilitate, but they use local partners. So uh, in Alberta, STARS is a partner, and they've donated uh, just under $250,000 to help put mannequins and train uh, teachers and to teach CPR. And um, uh, in Edmonton, for example, the Edmonton uh, Kiwanis Club uh, donated close to a 1,000 mannequins to, to uh, the city to help uh, uh, students learn all these skills and uh, to help in, in exact situations yeah. that happen to Well, how big of a difference does this make for someone like yourself who, of course, goes to scenes and tries to save lives all the time, knowing that there might be someone like Steve there that has taken some steps before you arrive? Well, uh, much of uh, emergency sort of health care is based on uh, sort of a chain of survival. And uh, the first link of that chain is, is sort of uh, first aid and a quick response and to react to those situations quickly. And it, it basically, it's, it, it's mandatory in, in a sense that if, if it doesn't happen or doesn't happen effectively, uh, often as, as effective as we try to be, uh, the success of, of, and the health of these people uh, may be decreased because that, that link is gone. Mm -hmm. So um, it's, it's absolutely um, uh, of great value and it's, it's excellent for, for medical workers who work in this field when they come to a situation, even, even coming to the situation where everything is uh, already sort of in control and, and uh, the patient is taken care of in that first aid sort of... Uh, makes a big difference for, for you. Huge difference, yeah. Steve, when you took this course, did, uh, are you taking it thinking this is a serious thing and this is what I've got to know, like you would say math or English or something like that, or was it just something that you know, it was I'm a gym credit the class and that was what <laughs> it was, it was a gym right? credit at the yeah. point and like yeah, it's fun to learn new things sometimes and oh, it was kind of cool learning some of the CPR stuff and the techniques, but it paid out, so I'm really thankful that I took it. Right, sure. Well, I mean, you, you know, you don't think it's going to happen to you. I mean, I sort of joke, my wife no CPR and has all the training. I don't. So I'm probably in good hands when she's conscious. <laughs> yeah. She may not be if she's <laughs> unconscious, you know, and you look at something like that. I, and you don't know what could happen to somebody in your family. Both my parents ended up needing help and I was the only person there at that time. Did you ever think that your son, like you probably knew he was taking the course. Did you think now, you know, we're a little bit safer in our house because my son knows how to do this or oh. Did you, you know even what? think it about it? I'll be honest, it didn't really cross my mind because mm -hmm. I guess I'm like everybody else. You don't really expect something to happen. Um, Steve's a pretty level-headed kid anyway, so you always assumed he would be okay. But uh, he said it was really a big advantage for him to not panic, especially because it was his mom, not just a stranger on the street. It was his actual parent, so that really... Uh, um, made a big difference for him, I think, and obviously for me. Yes. Um, the paramedics said he did an awesome job. When my husband arrived home, they said, you know, he handled everything just 
Perfect. Great. So. Well, thank you very much for showing up on today's show. No problem. I appreciate all of you taking part. Thank We've you. got some information to put up about the ACT Foundation. 1-800-465-9111 is the phone number. The uh, website is actfoundation.ca. And this is a course that is in all high schools in Alberta right now, isn't it? It's mandatory, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, after the 2001 uh, uh, pilot project, they made it mandatory. Right. Uh, Alberta Education made it mandatory for all high schools. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, thanks again for sharing your stories with us today.